Hello, my name is Clive from Clive'sArt.co.uk and today I'm doing a product launch of my blending white. Now, if that's something you're interested in seeing how it works, then please stay with me and after this short introduction, you can come and join me in the studio and see what we can do with it, yes. Okay, see you shortly. And thank you very much for joining me in the studio. As I said in the introduction, we're gonna be looking at my blending white formula. Now, this is a, a, a blend that I've actually put together myself and I use extensively now in the studio. So before I actually get down to business, I'm just gonna take my hat off and I'm gonna put my apron on because I got my new shirt that I had kindly had sent to me and I don't particularly want to get that dirty so I'm just going to put my apron on and then we're going to be looking at the blending white formula so um, yes it's it's not a gesso it's more of a paint but uh, the way I've actually worked it is that it's got a it's got a drying ability and it's quite warm here in the studio today and um, I'm hoping it'll, it'll stay open for, for about 60 minutes um, which it should do without a problem um, but I will stress this at this particular point that it is not a magic paint. It's not like Bob Ross's um, liquid white because it can't be because Bob Ross's liquid white is oil based and it will remain wet for a long time. This is acrylic and it is prone to the same drying problems as normal acrylic, it just takes a lot longer to actually dry out. So um, yeah, as I said, let me introduce you to this and show you exactly how this works. And um, without further ado, let's get to the easel. Okay, so we're at the easel now. As you can see, I've pre-gessoed a board and um, I'm gonna be going into my blending white. So I'm just gonna be taking a fair bit of amount, amount. You can see I've used this quite a lot. I've been running tests and everything with it. Um, we put a nice liberal coating of paint onto the canvas. And this is paint, it is not gesso. Please don't think it's gesso, it's not. It has got a bit of bite to it but it's important that you put a good coverage of this on. Now, depending on temperature and humidity, it can stay open uh, longer in some places than others. So it is, it's easy enough to use. It's just a matter of getting used to it because you're so used to using acrylics in a normal way. These uh, do tend to stay open just a little bit longer for you. So I put a nice coat of the blending white on there. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna clean my brush off, take the excess off. And I'm gonna go into the, the palette. I'm picking up a bit of Prussian blue on the edge of my brush like that. And I'm going into the top corner and I'm just going to pull that through. And I'm going to pull it down. And I'm very lightly just go across just to blend that in. You can use the little bit of blending white um, actually with the paint now, the tight the blue, if you wanted to lighten it a touch. And then just bring that across like that.
I didn't put enough on the corner. Sometimes that'll happen, so don't worry too much about that. Anyway, there we are, we put the sky in. Now, I'm gonna put a little bit of Prussian blue by there, and I'm gonna bring, bring Mars black to it. And I'm gonna bring a touch of white to that. And I'm gonna get my brush on the side, and I'm just gonna drag it across like that. Come down here, I'm gonna drag it across like that. Now I'm gonna give my brush a quick wash. Getting all our color out. I'm picking up um, a bit more of my blending white on my brush. I'm just taking a little bit of that, I'll put that up there, put a, take a little bit of that into the painting and I'm just gonna drag through that mountain range. Keep a nice sharp edge like that. Bit easier on a larger canvas. But you can see how it just wants to blend. Light touches, light touches. Pick up a little bit more of that blending white now, go into the bottom of the canvas. And then we can reapply a little bit of that on top of the gesso that's already there. Not gesso, sorry, blending white. And it's going on a bit thicker now. back into that Prussian blue and I'm just going to come in from the sides and I'm going to go lightly across down taking the excess off my brush very lightly very lightly a bit darker we didn't put enough dark in there. But don't worry, we've got plenty of time to work with this. That's not a problem. This is not going to dry on you as quick as you think it is. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to wash my brush very quickly. Getting some kitchen roll. I'm making sure this is dry, or as dry as you can get it. You don't want it wet. And then very lightly, very, very lightly, pull across.
what we're going to do now is we're going to get a little brush something like that this is a number eight and a six six or whatever okay a bit of titanium white I got a little bit of um, raw sienna there as you can see that's why it's gone a little bit discolored but that's what I wanted a little bit of raw sienna with that this is not a painting lesson it's just showing you all the blending white works and I'm gonna scrub a few wispy clouds in here and there and there and here I'm going to get a little um, brush now, uh -huh. brushy brush, I need a brush fly, not organised today again are you, no you're not, okay, brush, nice dry brush, dry brush, with this, you don't want moisture on it, and then soften those edges, soften the edges up, you can see it's still blending, the paint is still wet, Keep a couple of them brighter spots on those clouds there. M merge them in. And you can see the paint is still wet. Just get a couple of the underneath bits gone. Like that. Bring a bit of white paint in down there. bit of blending white now because it's a paint it's a paint you can use it as a paint don't worry about using it as a paint it's a paint I keep saying it's a paint it's a paint so you can still you can paint with it if you wanted to it's not gonna matter in fact this is what I'm doing now I'm actually painting with the blending white look and I can blend that in and if you mix this with other colors you're gonna get a nice pastel effect with it and um, Again, going back into the blending right now, I'm just going to touch a couple of edges of these clouds. I'm going to put a couple of wispy bits up there. I'm not thinking too much about what I'm doing. I just want to use this as a demonstration of what it can do. And I'm going to blend that in. You can see it's still picking up the blue. And then I'm going to go a little bit of titanium white, a little bit of that raw sienna. And I'm just going to put a little bit of light here and there, a little bit of detail in there, like that. And I'm just going to blend that in. Okay, and we can put a couple of stringy ones there. Look, it's still blending, still blending in. And now I'm going into this side of the mountain. This works just as well with a palette knife. The light's coming this way now, so I want to just pick up a bit of light there and here and here and there and everywhere. making sure my head is in shot it is so let's get my head out of shot sorry I'm just painting now with a little bit of color a little bit of that blending white on my brush and back into the darker color and just put in a little bit of shadow there and here and here and there taking the brush off my the paint off my brush just moving the paint about a bit on the surface just to make it look as if there's few dips and daubs and shadows here and there back into that color pick up a bit of blending white and let's see if we can move that about a bit yeah and it is moving lovely as this is just an example
Now the joys of this is what you can do, which is really good, is just, I just wash my brush and take any excess moisture off my brush. I just want to, look, it's still working. That is, look, you can see the paint just come off my hand. That is still wet, but there, look, it's still wet. You can still move it about, look. So it's still, it's still there. Now, we can get a little bit of blending right now. And mix a touch of water to it, because you can thin it down. And let's just put A little bit of mist on the bottom of that mountain like that. And then just pull that across. Go back into that colour. A little line across there. Just dragging my lines across. Just making little dippy dippy dop is up dop dippy dop dops like that. Take a line across there like that. Picking up the blue. That's just it's still wet, look. I'm struggling with it now because it's wet. That's amazing. Do the same on this side. Let's get a bit of blending right into that. Oh look, a bit of black, a bit of the blue. Change the colour up a little bit. And let's put a, a line there like that. A line there like that. This is a blue and white painting, this is a monochromatic painting. It's just changing the colour up a bit, so I want it a little bit darker. Just lines, 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 lines. lines. Washing the brush, taking the excess off. Just go underneath those. Freeze like that. Get a bit of titanium white. Touch a blending white to it. You can make a thinner line than this, but I'm just using this as, just as an example here. As I said, I'm not worried too much about the actual painting itself. I just want to show you that I'm still using and is still wet. And um, just for a bit of fun now, should we um, get a, a bigger brush? 
I got another brush. Where's my brushes? Where's, where's my brushes? Where's my brushes? Just a bit of fun. I'm going to dry my brush off. I'm going to pick a bit more black, a bit more blue. Touch of white to that. Titanium white that was. A bit of blending white. A bit more black. I'm not doing greens and stuff like that. I'm just going to put a... Something like that. There you go. Look, it's still, it's still, it's still wet. Look, it's still, it's still, it is still wet. Look at that. Good stuff, hey. Right, let's get a bit of blending white to that now. Let's make it a bit, a bit more of a blue type of grey. And I'm just going to go flick up. You could do this in green, you know, this, this, I'm just doing this because mix a bit of white now with that. Just give you a little bit of contrast. Because if the light's just catching that grass a little bit there. So get a bit more blue in. You can put a... Um, Let's do um let's do a bush. Let's do a nice bush there. Let's get a bit of white. It's lovely this is. It's been a bit of blue in that. Bit of sparkle. Let's put a bit of pick up a bit of white now, and just just catch the edges of that. Yeah, like as if the sun's just catching it. I haven't got no black left. Just pick up what I got there. Okay, very, 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 very quickly now. I need to get a bit of black on my palette. And in a Bob Ross style, let's put a nice big tree. Under there. A little one over there. Get a bit of blending white. On the score. As if it's a little bit of a brush there. Where's that up, Clive? No. I do. Anyway, you get the point. And um, let's mix a bit of white with that now. On this side, in fact, 
Let's mix a bit of blue and a bit of black to that together. Let's get rid of this bush. I don't like that bush there. And we get a script liner brush, which is the very thin one. Again, pull this, get it to a nice thin point. Put a couple of bits of grass in here and there. Pick up a bit of the darker ones here and there. A bit of um, Uh, where we can we go is just put um, Lines here. Wash the brush. Get some titanium white. Get some here uh, blending white. Mix it together. Just a touch of water. Get to a nice thin point. And then very lightly. Just pick up a few little lines here and there like as if there's a couple of ripples in the water there you go there's a couple of uh, a couple of darker ones in here oops <laughs> wash your brush life a couple of darker ones let's get a bit of black over there A bit of contrast in, and it's fun trying to paint um, paintings with unconventional colours. You'll be surprised the effects that you're going to get, and it's it's so easy sometimes to just to paint with um, you know the colours like grass is supposed to be green and all this type of stuff, and and it's a it's a good idea to actually play with this sometimes. And in fact, I'm going to sign this one because it is a quick one. And there you go, my blending white. Yes, it works really well. And that was not time, it was not speeded up or nothing that is actually um, real time. And it's now starting to get tacky. So um, yeah, that's, that's one way of using the blending white. So if that's something you'd be interested in purchasing, please pop along to my website. They're in 250, um, gram is it gram 250 milliliters uh, containers like that that's where they come in there is shipping costs on that but um that's all depends where you actually live so if that's something you'd be interested in these will be on available on the website now by the 30th of april and all the prices are re all the relevant prices are in there i've got paint all over the bottom of my my tub so please feel free to pop along and get that they are going to be one of the things that we're going to be giving away as um, a trial to one lucky person. So Dawn and I are going to be organising a raffle for that on the Clive's Art Family membership page. So if you're not already a member of that, then please um, send us a, a request. Also, there's a monthly um, email letter now that there are giveaways on that as well. So again, you need to go into clivesart.co.uk, find the relevant link, which should be on the front page uh, about halfway down. And then you can um, put your email in there and um, just register, basically subscribe to the email letter. And that is going to give you um, all questions and answers. There's interviews in there um, of different subjects and different people. 
There's also going to be giveaways. There's going to be the, the competition winner of the Clive's Art family member page. And um, there's going to be a free video as well, yes. And uh, I've got a couple of other little products I want to launch. It's um, a new um, retarder and um, thinning agent type of flow improver type of thing mixed together. I've also got a, a clear, um, uh, 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 it's, it's like liquid clear then. It's like that, but it goes on the surface and it keeps the canvas moist, ready. If you want to paint on black, like Bob Ross and Bill Alexander does, if you want to paint on black, I've got the ability to do that as well now, but that that's a little, needs a little tweak here and there. And um, yes, yeah, there's a couple of other things as well. As you've seen, you've got my homemade uh, gesso recipe. There's no point in me trying to sell that to you because you can make this stuff. And that's what it's all about, it's saving money, not to purchasing stuff. And um, if you would like to go along and try that out, and as I said, please uh, let me know. It um, The money actually goes in back into the studio to help me develop these things. And it also helps me supply the paint. And um, as I said, there's a reason they call us starving artists because the, the, it all helps fund. And it's a very expensive thing to try and get uh, these YouTube videos out to you, which are totally free of charge. And I love doing it. And that's what my mission is, to get as many people in the world painting as I can. So thank you very much and um, have a good day, good week, good month, a good year because I'm not sure exactly when you're going to be watching this and um, I will see you on the next one. Goodbye. Nice.